And we've got some issues there in the middle of the field. It started quick. We're out there and the robot just isn't functioning the way it should be. We had some battery issues where by the end of the match we would just be so slow moving we couldn't really move. 195 static here in the Blue Alliance wing. Every single aspect of the robot was being changed in between matches, which is definitely not a good sign at all. It was just a lot of disappointment, you know, a, a letdown of like, holy cow, we did all that work for what? It doesn't seem like it's, anything's working. Even though it's just the first competition, you know, you kind of have that feeling like, oh, it's, it's going to be over now. Like, this whole season is not going to go well. I remember it was very intense and it was very a very high stress that we had. We all walked into that meeting that night knowing that we had a lot of work ahead of us no matter what we decided to do. This robot isn't going to work out. We're going to have to figure something out and we're going to have to do it fast because we have another competition in like two weeks. The team was kind of, wow, can we really start over and build a whole new robot in nine days? And we had to convince them that you know, you can do this. Because if we didn't fix it, we would have a bad season instead of just a bad competition. So we just planned to scrap the whole thing. We just kept the, uh, the wheels. Basically, we took apart everything else. It was all or nothing. Like, if this didn't work, there was nothing left. That's it. But we made it far enough and we performed well enough that we saw the potential in this robot and we knew that something good can come out of it, unlike the old one. And so then we were actually able to win our division, which was crazy to us because, you know, obviously looking back, it's like, how were those last two competitions even in the same season? And during our district championship event, we did extremely well. We won the whole thing. It was amazing. It felt like everything paid off. If I was able to go back, I would love to tell myself that that first competition, like, it'll be okay, you'll get through it. Not, not seeing failure as like a, as a setback, but more as, as like a challenge and a goal to overcome. Watching the experience that this competition had on the students and the failure of their robot and what they did afterwards is something we can all learn from. We need to understand that it is okay to fail. We have to take risks. We have to try. We have to take chances. And if things don't work out, we have to be resilient. We have to work through those uh, failures. And in the end, we're going to come out the other side twice as strong as we were to begin with.